Hey, this is Juanito's Peppers. Gonna do a quick update. Um, so as you can see, everything is going pretty good. Plants are about two to three feet high. Uh, it's June 20th. Um, so they've been outside for about a little over a month. Uh, these ones are out first, habanero paper lanterns. You can see they're a little bit uh, bigger than the other ones. Um, I've had no problems with the bags, except for a couple of plants like this one falling over because they don't really have any support. Um, but they're still alive when they fall over, so um, you can see we got lots of pods forming on these. And flowers bloom in. Pods. Um, the rest of this row uh, is scotch brain plants, which I'm pretty excited for a good uh, sauce kind of pepper, you know, kind of hot, kind of medium sized. Um, and they're doing pretty good. They're smaller, they're about two feet tall. Uh, but you can see they're flowering as well. Uh, I don't see any a lot of peppers on these ones yet. But yeah, they're nice. They bushed out pretty good. Um, over here we got some more. These ones weren't getting enough water, I think. So like, they're kind of all crazy looking. This one was supposed to be a SB7J, but I think I got one of my seeds mixed up and it looks like it's a Ahi Omnicolor. You can see it's got the tiny upward facing pods. Um, and they are uh, yellowish to start off with. Yellowish white. Um, I started getting rid of these weeds over here. My dad wanted to keep a bunch of onions, so he said not to cover this area up, and now it's infested with weeds, imagine that. So now I have to clean that all out and cover it up, hopefully, so I don't have to do any more weeding. Lots of more peppers over here. These are, uh, these are more yugas right here. You can see they're flowering as well. They're nice and big and thick. Some fat leaves on here. And then next we got uh, Naga Brains cho chocolate right here. You can see here's another one that fell over. You need to get some support for these. But they're doing good. Look, you can see pods in here. We got that uh, bumpy, super hot texture. And uh, some more right here. Um, I think these are ghosts in here. You can see peppers. One of these had lots of pods on them. Yeah, this one. You can see lots of pods in there. These are the good ghosts that I like. Some, there's a couple different phenos of ghosts and, uh, I like these ones that are longer and are bumpy. Uh, the other ones aren't as good in my opinion.
Um, we got Manzano's right here. They're still alive in the heat. I know a lot of people say they're only good for cold weather, but they seem to be doing okay. There's flowers on here. The same purple. The bug. And I planted some marigolds around every once in a while. Uh, right next to these Manzanos are uh, bubblegum brown, I think. You can see they got the uh, big cali. Um, and there's quite a few in there. We'll see whether these end up being the longer pheno or the shorter pheno. <sighs> Oh, I think those may have been bubblegum seven yellow. And then I got brown right next to him. Um, got some more super hots over here, I think. Lots of pods. Most of these are all potting up right now. Pretty hardcore. So, that's good. Oh, I gotta show my the queen hosts. Oh, and the SPS purple. Uh, the plants are kind of green still. Uh, the stems are very purple. And they got little purple and white flowers. And the pods are purple, but yeah, these are the Kumari. They don't have any pods yet, but they're little bushes. Uh, the Bequinos over here are really potting up. You can see lots of little just uh, got a little tail on them. I think people call it teardrop shape. Yeah, they're a pretty cool pepper. They're about white. A lot of these peppers weren't getting enough water. They're kind of stooped over. But I've changed my watering cycle the more often. Planted these ones uh, about uh, two or three weeks later, but they're doing pretty good. Uh, so yeah, I'll post another update in a few weeks. Hopefully it'll be ripe pods by then.